Today on our 2016 GMC Sierra 1500, we'll be installing a backflip MX-4 hard tanu cover. Part number BAK48121. Add some style to the back of your truck while keeping your equipment dry with the backflip MX-4 hard tanu cover. This tanu cover features a quad fold design, which allows you partial bed access, and full bed access. Panels offer automatic latches, which allow for a secure fit. The safety straps allow you to travel with the tanu cover folded, and the prop rods keep it secured while folded up against your cab. With our cover folded up, you can see that our rails simply clap into place. There's no drilling required. And our rails sit inside our truck bed, only about an inch and a half. This tanu cover has a low profile design. It still gives you access to your stake pockets. It's made out of an aircraft aluminum to resist rust and corrosion. And the cover is rated to hold up to 400 pounds if the weight is evenly distributed. Rubber seals ensure that it's watertight. When used in conjunction with a locking tailgate, you can see, it keeps your stuff secure inside your bed. Now that we've gone over some features, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to install it. Now we're gonna install our weather strip. You wanna make sure you have a clean surface to work with. You're gonna take the white side Peel off the paper and stick it to the bulkhead of your bed. If you have some extra on the end, no problem. Just go ahead and trim that off. Now we're gonna install our side rails. Very simple. This end right here goes up toward the cab. We're gonna take it and we're gonna set it in place. When doing this, you want to make sure that your tailgate is closed. Now we're going to take our side rail and we're going to attach it with the provided clamps to the bed. You want to make sure that your rail is pushed all the way forward. You're going to take the teeth side of the clamps with the nut facing out, one on the rail, one on your bed. Push it all the way forward as far as you can get it. Hand tighten it down. One thing I do want to mention is you want to make sure your groove is lined up. Now we'll take our 9 16 inch wrench and tighten it down. Before tightening down all the way, you want to put some pressure on this top ridge here to make sure it sits flush. We'll repeat the same process with the second one. And you want to get as close to the center as possible. Put some pressure on the top rail, 9 16 wrench to tighten it down. Tighten it in place. For our final clamp, we're going to install it as close to the tailgate as possible. Again, place it on your rail. Slide it back as far as it'll go towards the tailgate. And tighten it down, making sure your grooves are lined up in your clamps. Take your 9 16 wrench, pressure on the top rail, and tighten it in place. And now we'll just repeat the same process on the driver's side. Now we're going to install our prop rod. You're going to take the socket in, snap it right on that ball, and then repeat the process on the other side. Now we're going to set our tiny cover in place. It'd be a good idea to grab a second set of hands. What you want to make sure is the smaller panel faces forward towards the cab. Now that we have our cover sitting on top here, you want to make sure this front side of this small panel is on the inside of this weather strip. Now we're going to install our buckle. What we're going to do, we're going to lift up the flap. You're going to take your provided hole sleeves. Slide it into place. Take your buckle. What you want to make sure is that the open end of the buckle is facing toward the bed. Drop your screws in place here. Take the Phillips screwdriver. One thing I do want to mention is make sure 
when you're tightening these, you don't tighten them down too much because these are plastic and they can crack. You notice there's a rubber gasket right underneath. Just put enough pressure on it to where it's starting to come out just a little bit. And we'll repeat the other side. So now we're gonna install the cab bumpers. I suggest taking your tonneau cover, lifting it up against your cab here to make sure you put your cab bumpers in the right places so it actually keeps the tonneau cover from touching the vehicle. We're pretty much flat here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the center one. You're gonna peel off the red strip. And we're just gonna stick it down on the cover. And you're gonna repeat the process on your other two. At this point, we're gonna install our hardware on our cover. If you notice, there's two rubber washers. You're gonna install one on the top of the bed cover, the other one on the bottom. So you're gonna take the flat part, go through the top, and through the plate on the bottom of the bed rail. You may wanna grab an extra set of hands just to put a little bit of pressure down on the top of the bolt. You're gonna take your three washers, rubber washer facing up. And what you wanna make sure you do is just loose Loosely put it on, not tighten it down at this point, and then repeat for the other side. Now that our cover is loosely installed, we'll go ahead and fold it out. Before you fold over your last panel, you wanna make sure that your tailgate is up. and it should fit just against your tailgate. Now that we have our top in place, we'll go ahead and fold it back up. And we'll go ahead and tighten it down. Again, I do wanna mention, you wanna make sure you don't tighten these down too much, just enough for the lock washer is flattened out. Our last step is to install our drain hoses. Now we'll go ahead and lay our Katanu cover down. That'll do it for the Backflip MX4 Tanu cover, part number BAK48121 on the 2016 GMC Sierra 1500 double cab. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.